Hi, I'm David Gerard and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, Michael Bargery from Zenity has done it again to Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio is a Microsoft AI agent for the enterprise. The idea is, an ordinary non-ticky user in your company can make a chatbot front end and it can search through your company data. We wrote up last year how Vargary used Copilot Studio to extract arbitrary data from a company. This year, Vargary presented at DEF CON how to get into Copilot Studio again. Quote, We hijacked Microsoft's Copilot Studio agents and got them to spill out their private knowledge, reveal their tools, and let us use them to dump full CRM records. These are autonomous agents, no human in the loop. Unquote. This is a zero click hack. The user doesn't have to do anything. A lot of companies' Copilot Studio agents are exposed to the public internet. That's very foolish. But that default has been changed, but it was that way for a long time, and a lot of them are still exposed. Bargary sent an email from outside the organization that got one of the agents to list its knowledge sources all the internal data stores that agent knows about. You just put your prompt injection in the email and the chatbot will send you the list. So helpful. Once you've got that list of data sources, you can ask for each one of those data sources as well. You just send the bot an email with your prompt injection and the bot will helpfully dump the whole data source and send it back to you. The Copilot Studio agent has all the company's authorization tokens, so it can get into everything. In one case, Bargary found a Copilot Studio agent that had access to every record in the company's sales force. That'll be all their customer records. He got it to dump the lot for him. Zenity notified Microsoft and worked on mitigations with them. These particular attacks will now be a lot less successful, apparently. Zenity's write-up notes there's no way to actually secure this stuff. You cannot secure agentic chatbots properly, ever, because the root cause for this exploit is the same problem we talked about a couple of days ago with Google Home controlled by Gemini. Prompt injections work because chatbots can't tell data from instructions. It's all just one big pile of words. So you can send an email and just put instructions to the bot in the middle of the email. And there is no way to separate out incoming data from instructions reliably. So this is just gonna keep happening. Bargary says, quote, Agent AI jacking is not a vuln you can fix. It's inherent to agentic systems, a problem we're going to have to manage, unquote. In a better world, not this one, I'll tell you one really easy way to manage the problem. Don't be so stupid that you let a chatbot do things, because there is no fix for prompt injection. It's how large language models work. If you sell someone a system where a chatbot can do things, you're being willfully negligent, Microsoft. You can't fix prompt injection. So yeah, Bargary is correct. We are stuck with this problem because Microsoft's going to sell this dangerous garbage that's not fit for purpose until they're actually stopped. And that's not going to happen. So we talked yesterday about red team cybersecurity, the attack testing teams, and how they don't see a lot of use for AI in their jobs. But maybe you security guys should be getting into AI because all these agents are a hilariously vulnerable attack surface that will reap rich rewards for a long time. And these gaping holes in security will be there as long as Microsoft thinks AI is the golden ticket. Yay. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. A video to watch a few days ago, our esteemed viewer Technopath said in the comments he might try out GPT-5 on playing Buckshot Roulette, a simple video game, because he tests chatbots against it and we all told them to go for it. So the video's up. GBT5 does as badly as you'd expect. It can't plan ahead at all, but it's a fun little watch. Link is in the show notes. 
Um, it did better than I was expected. I will, I will definitely grant it that. Um, but at the same time, it, it's still pretty limited as far as its capabilities go. Um, I would like to see improvement in its actual reasoning and planning capabilities. So, please do hit like, hit subscribe, leave a podcast review, tell just one person about this excellent episode of Pivot to AI, and Pivot runs on your donations. So please drop just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below. Thank you all. See you tomorrow, and bye for now.